whenever anybody asks me about sort of advice on getting a gig or even just auditions and stuff, I, I say to people, look, the main thing you've got to remember about, you know, becoming a, a touring musician, uh, especially, is that, you know, you're only on stage for an hour a day, mm -hmm. an hour and a half a day. The rest of it, you're sort of living a very strange, mm -hmm. big brother-esque sort of world. Right? Yeah. You know, you're, you're all cramped into, like, you know, I think people think that, these massive, beautiful venues have sort of like, you know, incredible dressing <laughs> rooms and stuff like that, whereas 90% of them are absolute shitholes. <laughs> uh, you're lucky if, you know, it, like if the showers work properly and stuff like that. And, um, and it's just a very strange, you know, if you're not sort of all crammed into a van or a tour bus or, or, or on a plane, you know, it's um, it, like, like I, I say to people that it's very much about you as a person and um, as much as it is uh, as your technical ability. I mean, you could be the most talented uh technical drummer mm -hmm. there ever was uh, but if you're an arsehole you're not going to get the gig because um you know you've got to spend time with these people you've got to get on with these people and and that's what it's about so you know if if you can nail the gig and your music ability is good enough to do that and you're great to have around and great to be around then you're definitely going to get employed a lot more so that's why i always encourage a lot of young musicians just to get out there and, mm -hmm. and to play and interact with people and network because that's what it's all about that's 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 what it revolves around pretty much, so.